here we are again, back on another Friday. Is that cliched or cringeworthy, that kind of opener? I'm still trying to figure this out. <laughs> uh, anyway, welcome to the stream. Uh, it's uh, me again, late to the beard party if you are new. Um, I mostly play older games. Um, I'm currently on an emulation kick. I've uh, been doing quite a few emulated games recently. Um, what's the first one I do? Trying to think, the first emulated game I think may have been Snatcher. Hmm. Yes, videos for that are on my uh, YouTube, if you would like to see, uh, linked below. Uh, a few of my uh, playlists are linked below as well, along with uh, my Discord, which is a recent addition. i am started using that now to do announcements and things. Uh, slowly growing numbers over time. Uh, probably a bit too slow for some people's liking, but um, I'm still enjoying this. I'm not doing this for, for the money yet. <laughs> uh, uh, there's also a link to my book as well on Amazon and Kindle if you'd like to throw some pennies my way because I don't have any um, oh, uh, Patreon or anything like that yet. Uh, no subscribers so still. Growth is uh, slow for, for people like me. I'm not one of those extroverted people who just uh, switch on the whole yay look at me I'm amazing thing all the time uh, still trying to figure stuff out but um, yeah how are we all doing this uh, fine evening or could be morning depending on where you're in the world oh did I prepare myself for this properly I don't think I prepared myself properly for any of these but anyway, let's switch over to the game view. That's the right one. Yep, we've been playing Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, um, nearing about the halfway point, actually. Uh, we're in Chapter 4, which is where we go to uh, Twilight Town, I think it's called. Um, it's been a long old while since I played this, because I played it back in the day. still have that copy um, uh, lying around somewhere. But this is uh, taken from a ROM, obviously. Uh, it's a modded ROM as well. Uh, we may get to see some of the um, old changes. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. You're a bit biased, though. I know that. Yeah. Um, the main change that this ROM makes is it takes the dialogue centering around the character Vivian and changes it back to closer to what the original Japanese was like. Yes, you definitely are biased. I can tell you that. Um, because in the Western release for the game, Vivian was a female character and she was bullied by her older sisters, which ends up being the reason that she joins Mario. In the Japanese version, however, and considering this was mid-2000s, it's actually quite progressive for them to have done this, but Vivian was actually trans and her sisters were not very um, supportive of her in this. And again, that becomes the reason that she joins Mario. Um, so to have that kind of story arc in a game from mid 2000s is quite progressive, but they chose to leave it out of the Western release because it would have been too too controversial. Uh, probably would have been. Um, would have got the game a lot of publicity. It may have even made the game a bigger success than it was. You know how these things go. I mean, Grand Theft Auto has been riding the, um, the tsunami of controversy um, with every single new release, so. It may, may have made a difference, but uh, I'm curious to see how the uh, the dialogue goes with it. That's one of the reasons for playing this version, and it's been such a long time since I played it, I thought I'd just do it again. So let's just unpause the game, hopefully not too loud. But uh, yeah, we got to um, our Twilight Town, and uh, yeah, the uh, Twilight people are being turned into pigs because of a bell that is um, uh, sounding off every now and then. So, hmm. Yep, uh, all they can do is just oink. Um, if I remember correctly, you can turn them all back, but uh, that's kind of like end of chapter sort of thing. So let's move on and... Uh, oh, this is the other side of town. It's the ice cream shop. Don't recall there being... Oh yeah, her um, her husband got turned into a pig, and I need, in order for her to actually sell stuff, I need to find the key for that storeroom. Because without the key to the storeroom, she can't get her stock out to sell. Plus, her husband's a pig, quite literally. Right, black key. Is that literally the key for the storeroom? 
Does it really literally just on the other side of that loading screen? Is that? It's locked. My husband must have taken the key with him and lost it in the woods. Sniff, sniff. Okay. Please help me. You can even take anything in the store and that might help you restore my husband. Hmm. Okay, so it's not the key for that. Yeah, that would have been a bit too easy. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, got him. And this is a different kind of Goomba. Okay, since there's so many of them, let's just... That finished them off, and let's find out what kind of goombas they are. It's a hyper goomba, which means um, it's a hyperactive goomba, as opposed to a hyper goomba in the sense of a comic book. <laughs> Right, HP is 8, and attack is 2, okay, but if this nut goes bizow and charges up, his attack power will be 8, oh dear, so you better work out before the, uh, between the time it charges up and the time it attacks, okay, and if you can't beat him, run away, I think we can beat him. Hmm. Oh, he's powering up, right, okay. And I think I can... Yep. Okay. This should do... Oh, wrong one. But it's still enough damage. Okay. Oh, next fight and we level up. I just need... Yeah, five more ex um, star points, I think they're called. Got him. Took a couple of attempts. There's one of them, and these guys have the same amount of health as the other ones, probably all the same stats, it's just they fly. Yep, after charging up you'll be dealing with moves that have a tap out 8. Once you damage it, it'll lose its wings and turn into a regular Hyper Goomba. Not that that's all that cool, even normal Hyper Goombas are dangerous. Oh, he's powering up. Okay, right. Okay, and oh great! Oh, attacks might miss. That was a waste of power. Uh, I can never get the timing on that. Okay. Oh, we missed. And that's enough to level up. I think I'm going to take some more bash points. Because I'm on 12 at the moment, so we'll be up to 15. Yep. 
I remember when I played this originally, I ended up just putting all the level up points into badge points. So I ended up with a massive load of badges. Uh, now that I've got the extra badge points, let's see what I can add. Okay. Wear this to use power bounce. 3 FP are required. Let's you jump on one enemy until you... Right, okay. Actually, I think I'll put that one on, because that's a good one. Multi-bounce. Uh, uh, let's you attack multiple enemies. Okay. Uh, hmm. Decrease damage by one with a guard action. Ooh. I think I'll take that. Uh, okay, that will do, I think. Right, so no jumping on these guys' heads, which means I can't use... Um, I can't use Gumbella on them. Ooh, this could be... Oh, no, uh, this could be problematic. Uh, right, this will kill that first guy and do a bit of damage to the second one. Not a lot of damage, but... Uh, this will get the info for these last ones. I think that's all the types of Goomba you can have. Hyper Spiky Goomba. It's a Hyper Goomba with a spike in its head. Oh, attack is three. After, ju after charging up, its attack power rises to incredible nine. There's only one difference. I mean... When you had the basic Goombas going from one to two damage, that was that was a bigger change because it's like doubling the damage. But now this is only going by one. You'll be in peril before you know it. Seriously. Uh, if only this book listed a way to dodge that attack. Hmm. Okay. Right. Um, hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. Hopefully this will do enough damage. Oh, not quite. Uh, uh, actually... Let's swap out for Coops. Right, okay, I'll be able to defend against that. And this... That finished them off. Yeah, not getting a lot of XP from these guys, annoyingly. I'd like more, but... Right, let's swap back to Goombella so I can tackle... on anything else that comes by. Okay. Oh, hello. Hmm. Okay. Right. I know what I've got to do. I've got to get the special ability. And that requires use of the black key. But where is the, the black chest? Actually, I just thought of something. Is there anything behind these trees? No. Hmm. Hmm. No, not here. There must be a black chest somewhere in uh, in town. No. Not in here. Hmm. 
Ebene einher. Nein, Herr Alba. Okay, the only other thing I can think of is this. Oh, didn't expect to find that. Okay. <laughs> I like how the crows wobble to that, but uh, it doesn't help me find the... Uh, Maybe I can blow away some of the scenery? Oh great, all the enemies are going to be back, aren't they? Uh... Right, have to deal with all these guys again. Slightly annoying. Uh... I just thought I should have done the multi bonk because uh, then Goombella would be able to take out one of them. Right. Okay. And he's, oh no, he is now visible. But at least these extra fights will put me a bit closer to leveling up again. One of the only ways you can actually hit a um, a flying Goomba with a um, hammer attack. Uh, actually, yeah. Hmm. Right. Uh, Better can get rid of one of them. I can never get the stylish action for Goombella. I don't even know if there is one. Right, let's finish this guy off with a hammer. Right. Oh, and I've got Goombella out, haven't I? Which is going to make this fight. Hmm. Uh. Okay, not enough to kill one. Uh, let's swap out for Coops. He's powering up. Okay. Right, so let's switch to Coops, do his thing here. I don't think this does a huge amount of damage. Hehe. <laughs> uh, just spotted that guy. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, I can do four points of damage with the hammer, so. 
Annoyingly, the one who's powered up is going to attack. Still takes seven damage in one hit. Uh, so much damage we do here. That's enough. Right. Okay, switch back to Bella. Oh, no, actually. Uh, so I'm wondering if there's something hidden. remember I don't need the uh, thing here I just need to do that <laughs> oh I completely forgot about that ability <laughs> there's one thing I don't like about some games like um, oh rares cameo elements of time did things like that but there were so many abilities and some of them were so specific for where you could use them It was, uh, I, I, I gave up on that game. I, I lost interest. But, uh, let's see. Right. Open the storeroom, I see. I have to get the business ready. Hey. Sure wish I had my husband back to normal form, you know, to help me run the place. <laughs> And knowing the way the humour in these games go, when he gets turned back, he's still going to be behaving like a pig. Right, I think... Yep, black chest. Jam and jelly. Ooh, uh... right. Let's take this. Uh, drop that. Now, uh, use that on Coops. So that opens up one. Right. What have I got that I can get rid of? Uh, yeah, get rid of that one. Uh, no. Ooh, okay. Right. Hold up. Hey, here's a. I just heard a voice. There's no way that people could be there. <laughs> Seriously. Just like so unlikely. What's that you say? You've seen a chest like this before. Get out of there. No, no, no. I'm not like those chests, I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. What eyes? I'm not. Seriously. Just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. What? Come on. You know how ridiculous you sound, right? I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as a, well, a really wonderful new ability that will allow you to go special places. Doesn't that sound nice? Hmm. Oh, come on, please. Just find the key and open the chest, okay? I know it's here somewhere. I just can't go look for it myself because I'm in here. So, pretty pretty, please? Oh, thank goodness. You're going to let me out. Oh, happy day. Yeah, I... We know what's going to happen. He's going to laugh and curse us. Wee-hee. Bulls. What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Now I'm going to hit you with the king of curses. The cursiest curse ever. Cursiest? That's all... Almost looks like cutesiest. Dear my terrible power, you will now know the pain of having your body roll up. Be cursed. <laughs> now you're cursed, loser. Savor your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk. That's how awful it is. 
Wee <laughs> your suffering amuses me and so I laugh. Now show me your cursed plight so I can laugh all the more. Just press and hold that button then rotate repeatedly. Okay. Your pathetic misery thrills me to the core. You must roll around like a silly cardboard tube. Oh, how you'll be laughed at. Now, do you understand the depth of your own agony? Yes, yes, I understand. Wee, <laughs> press B to return to normal. Don't forget, mush brain. I leave you to suffer, fools. Wee, <laughs> Right. Okay, she needs to go sort out her her stock, but this ability. Oh, an email. What's that email? Uh, RDM issue three. Uh, no. Right. Because this ability allows you to go underneath things and you can even jump. Right, let's switch to Coops because I don't need to tattle any of these Goombas anymore. Yeah, let's just do, do normal attacks. Yep. Oh, he's powering up, just in time to get bonked. Oh. Right. Oh, and Coops only did Three points of damage, okay. You. Right, that at least got him. Right. Coops isn't particularly great for this, is he? Only doing three points of damage. Hadn't noticed that until this fight. Okay, right then, in that case, let's switch you over for... Uh, my dude. You know what, just run past him. This is how we get through here. Actually, now that we're through here, let's switch back to Goombella in case I meet any. Hmm. Any enemies? But instead, we're going to blow away some hay. Here. I thought I'd missed it for a moment. Oh, these bastards. I hated these ones. Right, let's get the tattle on them first. So, Crazy Daisy. They look totally cute, but it's a serious fight. If we 7 attacks, 2 defense, 0. What you've got to worry about is the lullaby. That tune will totally zonk you out. If you manage to guard well, though, you might be able to um, not pass it out. Try to learn the timing. Oh, yeah. And when its HP runs low, it runs away. So try to KO it in one first swoop. Okay, yes. You can definitely do that here. Yeah. 
Okay, didn't quite uh, take us out. Let's. Yeah, I can take these guys out, not too bad. If there were more than two of them, I think I would have a serious problem. Ah. So, two star points each, not much. have an earthquake so oh damn it there's four of them okay uh... Okay, um, hmm. Right. Hmm. Ah. That's annoying. Oh well. At least it got rid of them. So how many are there this time? Oh, there's one of them. Okay, uh, let's just deal with him. And tap on this guy. It's a hyper cleft. It's basically a cleft that uses charge up moves. Max HP is four, defense is three. <laughs> When it charges up its attack power, it raises to 9. Couple its rock hardness with this ability to charge up, things get scary. If you're confident, you might want to try doing super guards to send its attack back. No, I can't get the timing on those. If you can't, you better use some items. Mm. Oh great, straight away. Mm. So, 4 health. Uh, Yeah, that's the only thing I've got that can hurt it. If I would have killed it outright from the wood go. Ow. Hmm. Okay, we need to rest. Probably should have done that back in town. Throw a hammer at one foe, no matter where it is. Oh, how many badge points is that? Only one. I'll take that. Hmm. Let's go to that one. Uh, right. I've got enough to do that. That will allow me to change partner and still attack at the same time. That will be very, very useful. Okay, Flurry, you're up again. What else are we going to come up against? Oh, I think a pipe comes up through here. Oh, Flurry again. Hmm. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Right now I'm a bit confused. Ah! Ah, hello there, uh, Anti Heldrich. Uh, the mod for the game is a translation patch, technically translation patch. It puts some of the dialogue back to the um, or an English version of what the um, Japanese version was. The primary thing being the story of uh, Vivian, and I'm curious to see how different that will be compared to the original version. Oh, got hit. But welcome, welcome. I am uh, I'm late to the beard party. Uh, I've been playing emulated games for a while. Uh, right, what do I need to do for these ones? Uh, let's see. How are you doing? Got that wrong. Uh, I haven't got enough. Mm. Don't know if this can. Ah, oh, got that wrong. Oh, this could go badly for me. And he's powering up. I think I'm going to need to run away. Uh, what, um... Okay, uh... Hmm. <laughs> I think running away is going to be a good idea. Yeah, I don't like those things. Yeah, I played this game back in the day and thoroughly enjoyed it, playing through again. Uh, just um, mostly to see the uh, changes that are done with the translation. Yeah, this is Creepy Steeple, that nasty monster's place. This place weeks me out. Look, Gonzalez, let's just get that crystal star and get out of here fast. Right, let's switch back to Gumbella so I can tattle any enemies I find. Heal up everywhere. Let's do a quick save. And I will also do a quick save state. We won't open. Okay, right. Hey. New ability. Let's see. Anything hidden around here? No. Ooh. I only have a vague memory of this. A nice little detail showing the key up there. Right, that's another shine sprite. That gives me enough to uh, level up somebody else. Cookbook. Ooh. I can give that to the, um... Oh, uh... I can't remember her name, the one back in Rogueport. Okay. Execute superbly to freeze an immobile foes. Ooh. Thoughts or something back there? Okay. That's everything in here. My friends are all gone, I'm so lonely. Okay. What's this door say? My friends have all been taken away, so lonely. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, the art style for the game is fantastic. Um, it, it's amazing how well it still stands up even today, and uh, I'm not sure if you know, but there is an HD remaster coming uh, for the Switch. I think it's due 2024, which I believe is the 20th anniversary of this game coming out. Oop. So, yeah, it's, still, it's been such a while, I'm still trying to figure things out again. So. 
considering what they did with um, oh, the previous Mario remasters, which was uh, Mario Sunshine Galaxy, I think, um, they did those with emulation, which kind of meant they weren't really remasters. I mean, I am in favour of emulation, but um, when they... Uh, drop FP used when Mario attacks by one... Ooh, that could be useful. Um, yeah, when they release an emulated game calling it a remaster, that's, in my mind that's a bit of a swizz. If you're going to release an emulated game, just tell everyone it's emulated. Yeah. Hmm. Don't remember this. Oh, crap. That was a bad idea. Okay, it's quiz time, Interloper. Just now, when the box opened, how many of us boos came out in total? Um, good, very good. Take this, math nerd. See ya, sucker. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Look from the inside. Yeah, as I say, I don't know if it's going to be a proper remaster or if they're just going to uh, use an emulator to um, oh, upscale everything like they did with um, oh, Mario Galaxy. Uh, so actually, I think Sunshine was the main one. But... Um, as long as if they do do that and they're open about it, I'm not going to argue. But if they try to push it as, oh, this is a remastered version, it's like, no, it's not a remastered version. You just use an emulator to redo all the graphics again. Right. Hmm. I'm just wondering where to go now. Oh. Are you going to be mean to me? No. Promise. Come on out, guys. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of them. There was 200. <laughs> right, at least these open now. Got him. Okay, let's uh Okay, that's one gone, so that's I think about six health, maybe? Yeah. Uh, the third one on Wii, that would be Super Paper Mario, I think. Uh, I did play it. I didn't enjoy it as much. I think it's because it, it was more of a platformer than the RPG that this is. Um, but yeah, the styling for that was, was brilliant. Again, I think they um, they really outdid themselves with the, with the visuals on that one. I mean, they had slightly more power with the Wii than they did on the GameCube. So, some awesome naming. Swooper Creepy Steeple. <laughs> Uh, right, so, yep, HP 6, attack is 3. Right, if you just damage it, we'll go off the ceiling and then you can whack it. Right, okay. Oh, got the timing wrong. Uh, yeah, easy enough to take care of. So, hmm, three, three star points each. It's more than the stuff outside and not as tough either. Got him. Okay. Right. Mm. Not sure how to get the ones up the top there. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Maybe Flurry can do something. Oh, can can hit them. Yeah, I think 
Yeah, Super Paper Mario was the last one I played. Um, I uh, I ne did, never played any of the ones on the Wii because they didn't really appeal to me. Um, I think Color Splash was one, and I think the the new the newest one on Switch was uh, Origami King. Uh, I do have a Switch, but it's boxed away because after Zelda, I kind of lost interest. Uh, right, I can't actually hit that, that thing at the moment, so let's just do a quick appeal. Oh, he's missed. Right. Mm, okay. Let's uh, do with that guy. Uh, let's just do a defend. There's not really anything I can do. Actually, let's do a charge up. Yep, that's... Right, how much damage can she do here? Ooh. Uh, I'll finish this one off. Yeah, the hanging from the ceiling thing is uh, annoying. Ooh, that's a nice lot of star points. If I can get enough of those, I can level up again. Well, that did something. We have through here. Okay. I think this just goes the other side. I think I know what that does. That moves the stairs, doesn't it? Yep, that's moved. It's just too sad that they removed the combat mechanic with Super Paper Mario. Yeah, because the um, oh, the classic RPG style combat is one of the things that made Paper Mario what it was. Uh, okay, the emulator just crashed. Oh, that's annoying. I'm going to have to load it back up again. Where are we? Um... I had this through uh, Boggly Woods. Um, that entire chapter was just endless crashing. Uh, annoyingly, I've got to come back to this point. Oh. I think I'm going to need to do more. Um, oh, uh, more save states again. That's frustrating. But uh, I, this particular version of the emulator is a little bit behind the most recent ones. This is uh, running the Dolphin emulator through um, our RetroArch. Uh, it's not as up to date as the most recent uh, version of Dolphin if you get it direct from the Dolphin website. I should probably switch over to that one if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, RetroArch's a good front end that has a lot of emulators that are quite easy to get set up. Just be careful about um, how you get hold of any uh, old BIOSes and ROMs, because uh, as we all know, there are legal arguments. Um, I'm very much of the argument if a game is old and very hard to get hold of, um, I, I would forgive people for acquiring them through not the best methods. Um, if you can buy a copy, um, it's better to do so, but if it's something that's going to cost you, say, a grand to get a copy... <sighs> so there are a lot of games out there that have that kind of price. I don't think this is one of them. Um, I did play one uh, not too long ago that does command a stupidly high price, which is Snatcher for the Mega CD. Uh, the prices for that have just gone crazy in the last recent years. Catch up with uh, where I was. Hello, yes, it's 200 of you. Right. Okay, that door's locked. Uh, 
Yeah, I also stick away from recent stuff uh, with emulators as well. So um, I think PS3 is where one I won't go to. PS3, Xbox 360. Um, I'll go as far as GameCube, original Xbox and PS2 because it just crashed again on a section I'd already been through. I seriously hope this doesn't turn into um, the problem I had with Boggly Woods. Um, past it. Because if it's going to be crashing constantly again, that's going to create another slow and very painful stream. Oh. Yeah, because that one was annoying. And the fact I'm doing this a third time now. I thought I'd be able to get as far as I had done originally. Yeah, some emulators give you a fast forward option to be able to get through stuff, but you're still controlling it at the same game speed, which means your reaction times have got to be faster. Now, one of the great things with emulation is it's come so far in recent years. I mean, you look 10 years ago and there wasn't a Saturn emulator that would run at all. I think actually there were some, but they were very buggy. But now there are ones that run almost perfectly, um, which is great because there are so many games, really good games that are locked to that system. And there's only a handful that have been released in any other shape or form so right let's save state before we go back up so at least we don't have to go through everything again right okay right got through this bit at least unless it crashes during this part Right, let's go this side first. Ah, missed. Okay, let's let's just tattle these guys so we can get the details. Right, so. Okay, let's swap to Flurry. And I'm still able to act, okay. Mm. Oh yeah, I can throw the hammer. Uh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, missed him again. Right, uh, let's swap places here. Uh, Throw the hammer at that one. Yay! That's good. Get all the flower points back. Right now, because of that badge I've got, I can swap out and still be able to attack, which is excellent. That gives me a lot more tactical control. Keep, can't seem to get the timing to, to defend against those guys.
Right. Oh, there's a boo. Okay. Right. What are the stats for the boos? It's a boo, it's everyone's favourite ghost. Well, mostly everyone. HP 7, and attack is 3. It's nothing to write home about on the attack side, but it can turn invisible. Mm. If it turns invisible, we won't be able to hit it, so beat it while we can see it. Boos are kind of cute, but I wouldn't want to meet one in a dark alley. If I ran into one in the bathroom in the middle of the night, I'd. Mm, yeah. Maybe you mind. Okay. Oh, straight away he's got invisible. <laughs> okay, in that case, I'm gonna defend. And you will power up. So hopefully. Right. Uh, leaves him on one. And Oh, that is a lot of damage. I guess remember to use that more often. Because I think all of the um, our, uh, allies can do that. Right, okay. So that should bring that up to the top. So... It's a save state before I go any further. Although I've got a feeling I need to go down to the bottom. Because the bottom one actually has is where you get the key. So I hit this twice, that should bring the stairs back down to this end. Actually, let's see what happens if I hit it a third time. Don't do anything. Okay. Right. So moving into this room was where it crashed. It's, I get the impression this room through here is the thing that causes the crashes. Why? I don't know. Okay. Uh, right, Coops. Steeple key, which is the one I need for up there. Okay. Oh, darn it. Right. Is that? It is, yes. Ah. Is that true that Flurry can blow up? No. Ooh. Golden Leaf. Weirdly found in truth replenishes 10 FP. Okay. I'm glad I went this way. Is there anything back the other way? The number of hidden things there are in this game is quite impressive. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if it's the wrong. There's something about the areas. There's, um, I think it's to do with the, the rendering. Uh, something that the, the game does that causes the um, emulator to, to crash, but it's really inconsistent. It's like with um, the Boggly Woods area, I couldn't figure out at all what I could do that would stop it from crashing. Um, there are a couple of options I could change. If it was doing it, um, oh, in the same place regularly, changing some settings seemed to fix the issue. But then it would go and do it again in another location. Nothing recently without any problems. Um, I th you're probably on a more recent version than what I'm on because RetroArch is quite a long way behind in comparison. So, right. Now, okay, just going to save here just in case. What is this? Okay, I'm struggling to remember what was up here. 
I believe there's a fight with the Shadow Sirens again, which is where we run into Vivian and where we get to see the uh, the altered dialogue. Hey, hang on there, Slick. Oh, what are you doing interrupting my me time? This is the monster we're talking about? you got to be kidding me. Who are you calling a monster? <laughs> He's got a party hat and a bow. What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking up new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost. Of course, you guys won't. No way you ninnies go away quietly, am I right? Well, alright, plan slick. Yeah, I turn the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal, you big jerk. Why would you do something like that? Well, you know, they're all so depressing and boring and dim-witted all the time. So instead of wallowing in gloom, I thought they could wallow in mud. Now they're pigs, get it? Isn't that just so perfect? It's like irony or something. So, what? You got a problem with that? I guess you do. Well, let's play. Right. Okay. Can't play this fight, no surprise. Right, so let's uh, let's get the tattle on this guy. What do we get? Well, I told you what, this thing isn't listed in here. There's a monster in here that looks like this thing, but it doesn't list a name. HP is 40, defense 0, okay. It's apparently really good at transforming itself into other things. Maybe it used that power to turn the villagers into pigs. It's a real jerk. Okay then, right. Uh, whoops. I might be able to use that. Uh, okay. Let's do a hammer power smash. Right. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I guess I'll get down and dirty if you're going to play like that. Okay. I wonder, let's see if I can... That's about as much damage as I'd normally do with a normal attack. That's really difficult to get the timing right. Uh-oh. Uh, I've got three poison um, mushrooms. I'll get rid of that. Okay. If we can keep this up, we should be able to uh... hmm. time to regroup here. So you think you're a couple of heavies? Well, then, my dear friends, if you thought ch changing folks into pigs was impressive, then you're gonna love this. I got some very, something very special. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people. Now you're going to fight yourself. A dang genius. Okay. You're uh, quite low on health there, matey. And I think you're going to be finished with next round. Missed that. Right, uh, you know, let's finish it off with the super hammer. Yuck, 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 yuck. Hold on, what? What? Yeah. You beat me. Hmm, 20 star points. That's, uh, Ooh. Oh, I just remembered something. That's not Mario there. <laughs> Got the crystal star. End of chapter. No, I don't think it is the end of the chapter. Because that was way too quick. 
Mary defeated the scourge of Creepy Steeple and found the fourth crystal star. People of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mary's quest to collect seven stars will be done in no time. With his back to Creepy Steeple, Mario sets out towards his bright future. Hmm. Yeah, I, I remember uh, the bait and switch here. <laughs> yeah, it took me a while to figure it out when I first played it. Um, but yeah, as soon as I noticed the eyes on Mario, I thought, oh, I remember that. Yeah, can you make his total pushover? But well, we've got the crystal star, so let's get out of here and also see how he's uh, slumped over as well. Uh, nice little subtleties there that not everyone will notice. Hmm. Yes, now I've got to. Uh... So I have no party. I do still have my. Uh... Get, hang on. Blue sheets, make sure you're invisible. Okay. That, uh, right. It's one of the many things I love about this game because you get such great storytelling all the way through, and there's such a varied story as well. Okay, let's just quickly save in case it decides it wants to crash again. Right. I have a feeling this is just simply going to be a case of head back to the village. Oh. Uh, yes, this time we'll take that Mario and get his map. Ah, uh, yeah, the uh, Shadow Sirens. With this super bomb here, there's no way we can fail. No, not likely. Yeah. Vivian, hand me that glorious super bomb. Has Vivian forgotten this one as well? Don't you dare, don't you tell her. <laughs> does that her mean th what I think it does? She's going to say that um, she thought that... Um, oh, I've forgotten. The names of, of the other ones. She says how important they are to me. <laughs> uh, I never had it. You were holding it just, a few, just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust me with. Oh, you terrible lie. Stop making up stories to cover up for yourself. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it, and obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply that I lost it, you little lollygagging worm? No, of course not Bedlam. That's the name, Bedlam. Well, we can't do much without it, now can we? You are such an idiot. Very well. I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you go look for it while Marilyn and I take a well-earned siesta. Mm. And if you don't find it, well, you, you know what'll happen, don't you? I get punished. Mm. Yeah, because Bedlam is... Mm, not a nice person, is the polite way of putting it. That's right, you little twits and get cracking. Come, Marilyn, let's leave this useless little fool to her chore. Hmm. So the gate's still closed. Oh, and I wonder, uh, anything back here? No. Nope. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. So hopefully, we won't see any more crashing unless I have to go back to the. Uh, Back to that castle. Right. Right, so make the way all the way back. I don't particularly want to be fighting these, especially considering I'm on my own. Okay. Um, this should hopefully finish off the flower. Do a little bit of damage to the other guy. And he's powering up, of course he is. 
I don't know if this is going to do enough damage. One. Great. Right. I'm not at all worried about actually fighting these things at the moment. Oh, I'll jump on the head of that one as well, don't I? I probably could deal with these ones, but I'm not going to... Not going to worry. Right. Okay, and there's more fights through this way. Leave you guys behind because I don't want to get into fights right now. As much as I'd like the XP, it's uh, a little bit more annoying when there's uh, some slick been waiting for you. Yeah, you're Marrow, right? What a great name. I really dig this body too. Man, can I jump now? And hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being you. It's so cool, I don't ever want to stop. So you figured it out by now, right? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, you have to take their name and body too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break. That's not enough either. I aim to erase you for good. I guess it would be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? It'll be fun, right? Now guess, what's my name? Give me with your best shot. Hmm. Um. I'm making a guess here. Probably the wrong one. Rungamundo. Who'd name the kid that? Prepare for Doom Slick. And don't even think about running from battle here. No running. Okay. At least he isn't using all my uh, fellows. Uh, let's... Uh, let's... What's a, what would be a good one to use? Uh... Yeah, that's probably a good one to start with. Okay. Okay. Hmm. We don't seem to be able to to hurt each other. Hmm. Right, so that's what I was supposed to do. Right, so, without his name, we can't actually hurt him. Oh, they've all been turned back. Let's see uh, what's going on here. So, is the husband acting like a pig still? Um, right. Oh, this is awkward. I guess that pig wasn't my husband at all. Oh, it was... This guy is younger and cuter than my husband, actually. 
What a strapping fellow. That's titrated in for a new husband. No, you don't want to go anywhere near that guy. He's a sleaze. Money filling. Welcome to the toilet shop. Right, okay. What do we have here? You can always do one of those. Uh, brief does half damage to all, f all foes who attack directly. Hmm. Oh, hell yes, I'm having one of them. Um, uh, I can come back for other stuff later. Right, let's see who's in here. Actually, can I... Oh, wrong button. I want to jump. No. Nah. I thought I might be able to roll through the fireplace there. Okay. Curse has been lifted since Mary had beat that bad, bad ghost. Oh, the cap that those scuff blue overalls is absolutely the best. Why don't you do something about your appearance? And, yeah. I'm going to go find Mario. Uh, nothing in here. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What'll I do? What'll I do? Poor me. I give you something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's going to punish me again. But it's just not here. Uh, right, okay. Mm. Don't see what to. Uh... Ah, here we go. Thank you, thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please take this as a token of uh, thanks. Oh, who won't you be? I don't remember inviting any shadows into my house. Sorry, but Mario's visit today. If you don't need anything, please leave. Uh, look at me, look at me. It's me, Mario. Uh... Okay, right. Can't do anything there. Hmm. Well, as the looks of it, I need to talk to people. Unless... Unless what Vivian's looking for... Oh. Ah! Found it! What? Well, found it? Well, thank you so much. Thank goodness, at least I won't get punished now. Oh no, it's it's broken. Must have broken when my sister dropped it. What'll I do? What'll I do? Guess I was meant to be punished for life. Yeah, let me fix it. I don't even bother trying, it's really busted. What I do now, my sisters will be back any minute. But I do appreciate the offer. Let's see. What's your name anyway? Yep. Can't hear you. Your name was stolen. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Does it? <laughs> Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's absolutely crazy. Gee whiz, you have worse problems than I do. And you were worried about me the whole time? Alright, that's it. I'm going to help you get your, get back your name and your body and your friends. That's okay, don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. And I feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, Vivian joined the party. Right, Vivian's ability. Press X to have Vivian pull Mary into the shadows where they can hide. 
very useful ability, especially for getting through spike traps. When hiding in the shadows, press X to re-emerge. In battle, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her Shade Fist, while she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her Veil move. Okay, guess we need to find out the ghost's real name. That'll be a start. Now, how are we going to get that kind of information? That's not an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around, but they're actually really well informed from all that flying and eavesdropping. Oh, I remember this bit. With my power, we can listen to their conversations without them knowing. So in addition to villagers, let's also get some from the local birds. That's the least I can do. Okay. So, the birds don't notice us. Sneak up to them and then hide. Ah, there we go. So I was chatting with Rock, Rock Beak in Toad Town on Instant <laughs> Messenger. <laughs> yes, they. And he said he's just... Uh, just gone fiber optic in his home network. You believe that? Rad, I bet he's downloading 100 meg, meg apps with no problems with those fat pipes. He's probably serving that feather club for crow's sight at the speed of light now. Yeah, it just blows me away, all this information age hype you hear about. And yet it's all games and feather loss sites that are driving the technology. <laughs> feather loss sites. If I think tech bust survivors can thrive if they get viable business models. Okay. Let's see what we can get. I'm really depressed lately, thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. Even 20 years later. Still an argument. Yeah, tell me about it. We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric, I think solar energy probably has the greatest potential. Very well informed crows. Uh, there aren't any on there, so let's go to the next part of town. Alas, this toilet world is too pain. <laughs> yeah, I love the writing in loads of places of this game. Uh, this toilet world is too full of pain and contradiction, too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I wasn't given wings so I could flee the terror of mundanity. Crow having an ex existential crisis. Hey Maud, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his sats this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feathers, Flo. Uh, there's just this one. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb, it makes me want to pick their noses. The only soul that knows the um, bad guy's name is locked under... A creepy steeple I hear because you know if no one knows your name then you can use unstoppable magic mm, depends on what world you're uh, you're in because if you if you do know someone's name or true name in some fantasy universe you can control them completely but if someone says your real name to you then your magic will stop working so I wonder how all this is going to end up then. right you hear that? If we search under Creepy Steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. Which means going all the way back. Let's go back to Creepy Steeple again. Oh. I now remember being annoyed by this area. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. I would have done this back in town, but that would have looked wouldn't look very good, would it? Oh, here we go again. So, this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm, he looks sort of familiar to me. Alright, can the chatter, here's the deal. You get your chance, then I stomp you. You guess my real name? 
Hmm. I wonder what happens if you actually put the right name in. Right, f right from the outset. Because that could probably bring the chapter to a rapid end. Okay, let's... Uh, That's no fun. Yeah, because it's the only way I can get past you. you. Must have been hiding there in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. No, we've got to go get the uh, the name of that booger, so we can then get Mario's name back. Now, just notice the time. It's about half eight now, which is around about when I normally take a short break. Uh, if you are enjoying watching this, appreciate you sticking around. Uh, give a follow if you would like to get notifications of when I'm going live as well. There's a couple of links down below you might like to take a look at. I've got a Discord that I've recently uh, started making use of. Uh, let's actually pause the emulator briefly. And. Um, Ah, there. Well, thank you very much, uh, Andy Heldrick. I'm going to have to start getting used to reading names out because that's kind of a <laughs> new thing for me. Um, there's my YouTube as well. Um, the full VOD for this will be uploaded on uh, or for Sunday, midday GMT, um, if you don't catch the end of it. Um, otherwise, I'm going to just say just have a quick break. I'm going to put my uh, holding screen on. So I should be back in about 10 minutes. So uh, that'll be 8.40 if you are in the UK time. Um, I think that's all I need to uh, mention. Still getting used to doing all of this. Um, but I will be carrying on uh, when I get back in about 10 minutes. Don't go away. And welcome back. Let's get straight back into the game, shall we? Right. Uh, yeah, we are... We've just had our name taken away by this uh, ghost thingy that's not very friendly. And now we're working on getting the, our name back. Oh crap, there's a golden one. Right, I can't find out what the golden one does. Uh, Missed that? Oh, you little bugger. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. That nearly took us out. That was not good. Um, right. Uh, now I'm hoping, actually, let's cheat a bit. Because I know there's a heal station. I'm losing a lot of coins here. <laughs> yeah, not the best of tactics, but it's about the uh, only option I've got right now. Right. Okay. That heals us completely. Right. Do a quick save here. 
do another save state just to uh, keep us alive. Actually, save state to avoid, well, to deal with any crashes that might happen. Okay. Right, so he was beneath the. Uh, so I think if it was is in here. So. The question is going to become... Hmm. completely there. Uh, actually, I just thought, I think... I think I need to go right the way up to the top floor, because that's where I think the... Uh, the key is found, so... Move it back. Right. Just do the quick save state just in case it crashes again. Yeah, because this is definitely going to have something to do with um, Vivian's shade availability.
<laughs> right, okay, that's not going to work. Okay, the only thing I can think of then... No. Hmm. Look from the inside, so that must have been getting to it from the other side then. So how to do that? Hmm. I'm trying to remember. Keep that. Uh, that I want to get rid of. Hmm. Uh, it's probably something obvious, but uh, yes, I would appreciate a hint if I'm being honest. Because I'm struggling to remember what to do, and nothing is really. Uh, coming out to me. I know it's got something to do with Vivian. Try looking outside. Oh. Oh, Luigi's in the audience for this one, but I think I'm just going to... Just going to ignore that. So try looking outside. couple of things I can think of. Uh, hmm. I think... Something's come to mind. And that's going to involve heading up to the top of the tower. I'm wondering whether oh there we go crashed <laughs> uh, where is it No, it's really outside. Okay. So, out this way. So, out here. <laughs> Thank you. 
that. I might have found that eventually. Oh. That's a lot of them. Oh dear, I don't think I can actually damage anything in this state. So I'm just gonna... Uh, thank you. I do appreciate um, no spoilers. I and mean, I have played the game before, so. But uh, yeah, when you can't remember something, it's uh, uh, it can be annoying. How many of those do I now have? Five. I need one more, and I've got two level ups available. So, yeah, my thinking was maybe there was something on a, um, oh, uh, a ledge up in the, um, oh, up in the tower, because I know that they did that a few times in um, some of the levels. Aha! Right. Nothing that way. <laughs> Thank you. I am enjoying playing the game. It's, as I say, it's been quite a while. Um, I have played some slightly more stressful games. I did do Sekiro, um, which was quite stressful. Um, oh, I am so equipping that right this moment. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of my uh, points, isn't it? I have to think about it. Good morning, good morning. Okay, let's see, because I think... I've heard the weirdos who are here. Ah, whatever. Almost have to, have to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one knows his real name, locking me up in here just because I know it and making me guard them. The, the name's stupid missing letter, no way to treat a parrot. I really want a cracker, Dupliss. You're a big meanie. When's feeding time? Dupliss! That's right. Uh, pretty bad, pretty bad. <laughs> right. Mario needed to get... Mario's... Okay. Okay. And the steeple key. Right, that opens... This door here. So, Dupliss. Yeah, I do wonder what would happen if you actually give over the name correctly right at the very beginning. <laughs> okay, we heard that. We heard your little birdie. Dupliss, that's his name. And let's get your name and body back from that meanie. And we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. But so far I haven't seen anything with Vivian's dialogue which I would say is different from the original. It's been a while since I've played it so I wouldn't be able to say if word for word. But um, there hasn't been anything so far referencing... Uh, well, I say so far, there was in an earlier chapter when we first encountered them, uh, the sisters. But uh, how are we doing health-wise? Uh, No, we're okay for the moment. Yeah, because when you, I did the... Um, I think you can't because of the missing letter. Oh, okay. I hadn't noticed that when I tried it earlier. So... Mm. They thought of a lot of things when they did this game. I'll be surprised if I manage to get through this chapter. Because most of the uh, chapters so far have been um, like two streams to get through all of them. Especially when it's been like the Boggly Woods where the game was just crashing constantly. 
I'm not at all fussed about these fights. I'll probably have to come back and brutalise all of them. I'll, uh, with uh, Goombella around. Oh, darn it. That's better. Get one back. Blimey, I had... Oh. I had over a hundred coins, and because I've been running past all of these, I've lost... almost all of them. Oh well, I can easily get more back. There's lots of points in the game where you can get more coins. Okay. Probably wouldn't be a good idea to uh, roll along running after them. Right. Okay. So, just in case. Hey, here we go. Hey, Slick, time to cancel your magazine subscriptions because you're getting erased. It's a bit of glitch in there. But first, please amuse me with one more guess. It really gives me joy to watch you squirm in futility as you try to guess my name. So, hit me one more time. Okay. Trying to remember, was it one S or two? I've got a feeling it was one. Just to be safe. Yep. <laughs> the the beauty of emulators and save states. Thank you. What? What did you just say? It can't be. No, 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 no. I'm feeling faint. Oh dear. Hmm. Now it's our turn. Let's get back. Where would he go to hide? Oh, probably back at the castle again. Oh, I remember hating this, all this backwards and forwards when I played this back in the day. <laughs> it's not really good level design if you um, if you have to go back and forth, back and forth, especially when you've got so much to get through. Because the other problem is all the enemies keep respawning. Pass them, can I? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be out of coins by the time I'm done with this. Oh, I actually got past that one. <laughs> right, right, only one more enemy to get past to get back up there. Ran straight past me. Okay. Uh, no, we're okay. We're just really low on coins. Right. Where would he go to hide? I imagine probably up the top of his tower. That is where I'm. My first thought would be... Oh. 
nearly got caught by the bat. And just to be safe, because it's crashed here a few times. That seems okay for the moment. All the way back up here again. Uh, you again, Slick, you're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine, fine. I see, I get it. Let's just put him into the shall we? Alright, kids, put your fine gloves on there. Ooh, it's a me. Sure thing. We're right there with you. <laughs> Right. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're going to taste the pain, Gonzalez style shadow guy. Yeah, look at them eyes. <laughs> Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario. Surely they could tell that Mario's talking differently. The guy who stole your name and body is Mario? That means you're Mario. Yeah, actually. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. What's going on here? A fight with your girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us, ghoulies. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. See, your friends ditched you because you don't have the charisma of me. Can't flee this fight. Okay, then. Eh... Uh, uh, actually, yeah, you know what? Uh, align the cursor with the good panels and press A. Right, I don't think I ever used this ability. Oh. Right. Okay, that gave me a little bit there. That was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Okay, let's... <laughs> yeah, the crowd are going to like this version of Mario. And they can't do me any damage. Uh, I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is, is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Ah, yes. Hello, Vivian. Right, I'm fighting by your side from now on. I've made my choice and I'm not turning back. Good. Right then. Uh, I'm not going to do anything to hurt my uh, allies. No, wrong one. I want to... Yep, set him on fire. Yeah, don't let your guard down, okay? Right, okay. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Actually, it might have been a better idea to do that from Vivian, thinking about it. Uh, uh, yeah, let's do this again. Yay. 
<laughs> That's really weird seeing the large one do the flips there. Okay, let's hit him again with the Shade Fist. Oh, wrong button. Because I'm not actually using a, a genuine GameCube controller, all the buttons are in the diff in the wrong places. How dare you try to do this to the great Mario, how dare you? Okay, I thought she was going for um, oh, Mario on that one. There we go! No, why, how? Eek, Mario! Oh, not quite enough to level. Three more and that'd be enough. Oh. Huh? Yee! Back to normal. Rats! You killjoys! He ran away! In wait. Just what the heck is going on here? That wasn't a real Mario. Did we get Shellwinkled? Oh, the puns. How could I ever mistake my dear Mary for another? Oh, silly blurry. So who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the Shadow Sirens you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalez parrot one of those creeps? Well, I, um... Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess she came through this okay. No sweat, right? Now, listen, Mario, sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you'll have me. Right, Vivian has really joined your party now. And the Crystal Star, which gives us the um, the fifth ability, I think. Or is it the fourth? Star Power is now five. And learned a special new move. And end of chapter, properly this time. I'm a little surprised I managed to get through that in one sitting. And I did skip a lot of the um, encounters. I, I really didn't want to fight all of them. I'll have to do a bit of grinding um, uh, off stream between uh, this stream and next week. Not quite finishing yet though. Um, okay, now Mario has, has four crystal stars. That leaves a mere three more to find. And I think that does definitely put us about the halfway mark. Okay. And that means this quest is oh, more than half over. Um, about halfway through the game, because I, bel I believe there is a fair bit after the end of Chapter 7, so there is technically a Chapter 8. Right, Namara heads off towards his next adventure with his new friend Vivian. But what about Bedlam and Marilyn? And what became of the doppelganger Duplis? Hmm. Right then, so now we move on to the next Peach section, I believe. Vivian is so very late, where is that scatterbrain? <laughs> well this time, go. <laughs> oh, I love the comedic timing in this as well. Are you sure about this? Speak up, Exnaut. Yes sir, quite sure. I poured over all our research of the Thousand Year Door. And it appears the seeding power has definitely been weakened, as Bedlam said. Finally, the treasure of the legend. Uh, the ancient power of darkness will soon be ours. Listen and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star top priority. Uh, of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum. Got it, sir. Soon I have the power that has slept for a millennium. So very soon. When that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. All will kneel before the extant regime. And then I, Grodus, will build a new world. A perfect ideal world, yes. A world made by me, about me, and for me. Hmm, sounds like a lot of places we already have. That sounded like Popeye, didn't it? <laughs> 
Nope, not wasting time. Peach is already there. Tay, did you call me? What shall I do today? Would be dancing, perhaps disguising, or will I sing a song or something? I'm conflicted. Hmm? What's wrong, Tag? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important, carrying out an order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the, the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do, really. What do you mean? No, no, never mind. Please forgive my musings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel un unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let's have a quiz. A quiz. That's right, Princess Peach. Please answer the questions I'm about to ask you. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden? Now, the first question. What will happen if the... You know, if you collect... Uh, a thousand coins appear. I can't remember, but I think it's a thousand Eudorians. Correct? Now the second question. What is the goal of Grodus, the leader of the Exnauts? Uh, to conquer the world? Yep. Now the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? Tech, is this? Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the. Nope. I pressed too quickly. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Right. Just a small whoopsie there. Okay. A 1000 year your demon soul. I believe that's what it was. Correct. Now the fourth question. What does Sir Grodus wish to do with the ancient demons? Cherish it, bring the demon back to life, hang out with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, bring the demon back to life. Correct. Now the fifth question. What is the re re what is required to seal up the demon again? Hmm, I'm not sure again. The glory of safe states. I think it's the crystal stars. Ah, and you have answered all five questions correctly. You may now use the communicator. Tech, you... But is it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to, s you wish to send. Why do I get the feeling oh, Tech would have given me the answers anyway? <laughs> okay, I'm done. Just send it. Hmm, this seems like a very short uh, Princess Peach section. Which has been sent. That is all for now. Please go back to the room. Hmm. Thank you. It's still a weird computer tech. Good night, Princess Peach. That was a short one. Ah uh, yes, Bowser is on his way to, uh, we're going to try to get to Glitztown, isn't it? My lord, I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Let's ride the cheap blimp there. You there, two tickets. One great and evil king and one sweet young thing. Uh, great, good gravy. Bowser, the evil king and a deluded old hag. Oh, uh, life's too short. What did you just say? I come back here, you little, little cheapskate. Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? Ah, yes, he has his own flying device, doesn't he? Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this baby. I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way, no problemo. 
Go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp grandma. <laughs> Red La Bowser, please! Oh. Now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag cami lunch will go to waste. <laughs> uh oh. That, that doesn't sound good. What's the warning lot? Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> right. Okay. I love how the game doesn't take itself too seriously either. <laughs> it's playing as Bowser is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, he's back at Redport. Ah, that was terrible. Got to get in shape. Who's... Ah, it's Bowser! Cooper King! He'll eat us! And they'll run away. <laughs> oh, you all know where she's been. There you are, little Bowser. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. I might ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Swimming. Really? Neat. As for me, Glitzville was fantastic. The fights were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me. I don't want to think about that. I don't want that mental image. And then, the hot dogs. Oh my gracious, yummery. You have fun too? Hmm? Is that a no? <laughs> it was terrible, you hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper. Uh, I wanted to have fun. But forget it, it's over. Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars now. <sighs> okay. Right. Now we are... Are we back at the Twilight Town or are we back in Rogue World? I think we're back at the Twilight Town. Yep. Hey, can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario, after all you've done for our town. Did we hurt your feelings? Nah, not at all. Maybe a little. <laughs> You're a bigger man than I, Mario. Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You've brought a shiny ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario, we need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit any time you like. Right. Ooh, message from Peach. Dear Mara, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The Exnorse plans to revive this thousand-year-old monster and use its powers to take over the world. 
They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door. They'll find this demon spirit, but the only thing that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Marriott, you must put a stop to their horrible plans, Princess Peach. An ancient demon spirit. Hmm. Just thought. Uh, I can't get rid of that. Uh, I think I've got what I need to actually get through the other side from this side. So I think it's the... Uh... Yep. This comes through here. Yep. And then I can get to the thousand year door. Do this pipe. Bit of a route. Look down here and oh no, it's not that one. Through here. Yep. Switch to Goombella because uh, she's the best one to have out in any fight, especially if it's up against something I haven't fought before. So, let's see what we get this time. I do remember doing that, and I remember what was at the bottom of it as well. Um, I'm I'm planning on actually doing that on this run as well, because that was a lot of fun. I, I can't remember what the prize was for actually beating that, but um, looking forward to finding out again. Okay, new location. And let's go back to Professor Frankly. Let's tell him about Peach's email. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I do have access to the Pit of 100 Trials, but um, I'm not going to be doing that until end game. That was written on Princess Peach's email? Is it... well, I was about to say, is it possible mid-game? I mean, if you're good enough, yes, it is possible. I mean, I've seen people do no-hit runs on um, all the Dark Souls games and Sekiro, so <laughs> of course it's going to be possible. But, um, yeah, I may actually consider doing that fairly soon, then, if it's possible mid-game. Hmm. Uh, Legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon, and those fiends want to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it. How bone-chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. Yeah, I, I remember being able to leave every uh, ten levels, but um, I'd like to be able to do it all in one go. I'm kind of strange like that. Because <laughs> I think uh, if you go back to it, you do have to go right from the beginning again, which is one of the reasons why I prefer to do it all in one go rather than do um, part of it, then come back later, then do the bit I've already done as well as the extra stuff, so... Um, but yeah, I can still see the benefit of um, doing it uh, part way at least, because then there are... Um, yeah, yeah, that would be a bit much to do mid-game, which is one thing of doing it um, our uh, end game. So, okay, uh, sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. Don't leave us in suspense, give us a scoop. Hmm. This is rather long, so you'd best listen well. Mario's going to fall asleep, isn't he? Well, are you ready? Are you there? In front of the TV? Who listen up to? Yes, I am listening. TV? You don't have a TV. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, never you mind. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that I read about in the book may well refer to this demon. 
It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood in this very area. It also says that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster, and that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes, but only the beast's physical form was destroyed, its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars which they had stolen from the demon, and they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit. From this, I gather the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for good or evil. Hmm. When the question is whether gathering crystal stars is a danger in and of itself. I mean, if we found all of them and then got robbed, the demon could be revived. Don't you think maybe it'd be best to break them apart and scatter the pieces? That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility the Thousand Year Door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years, so once a thousand years passes, the power to keep the door sealed shuts will uh, fail, and unfortunately this year may be the thousandth year. I'd like, hmm? Yes. The fact that those goons want the stars now may, may, um, may be coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return even if the Exnauts fail. Hmm. In that case, we're going to go collect the rest of the crystal stars immediately. So, kind of doesn't really change our path, but exposition. No time to lose. Where can we find the next one? According to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keelhaw Key. Keelhaw Key? I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumours. You know the usual stuff of vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salts down the harbour. No more. You should head there first. Okay, well, the first thing I'm going to do... Um, I've only got five Shine Sprites, so I can only upgrade one party member. So let's see who is worth upgrading. I can only do Flurry or um, Vivian, and to be honest, I'm not a fan of Flurry. Uh, I know abilities are useful, um, but I... I, that's the one character I really don't like the design of. So I think I'm going to upgrade Vivian. She's only just joined the party, but... Let's do this. There we go. Right, so, uh, so fiery jinx attack all foes with flames that set them on fire. I like the sound of that. Right, uh, so next, uh, switch back to Goombella, and I think now is a comfortable time to break. Um, so I think before I go any further with the game, uh, just save here. And uh, yeah, it's just hit half past nine p.m. here. Um, and uh, I like to keep my streams fairly short at the moment because having a day job as well as doing this can be quite exhausting. So um, I'm going to finish there. Let's just pause the emulator so uh, the audio doesn't go crazy when I switch away from it. But um, yeah, I'm surprised how far I got there this evening. I was not expecting to make that much progress. I was kind of expecting to be towards the end of the chapter. It could simply be the fact that I'd already done the thing of getting into the old Twilight Village and just doing the, the first part. Um, but yeah, making good progress. Um, uh, thank you for dropping by and thank you for the new follow, uh, Anti Helderich. I'm still going to have to get used to uh, to names. So uh, I'm just going to sort out there. Um, let's see if there's anyone worth raiding. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, he's literally only just gone live. <laughs> Oh, that would be hilarious. Uh, one of my friends um, 
Uh, thank you for dropping by. Uh, as I said before, there are some links below. Uh, there's my YouTube, uh, some playlists that I've done before, um, my Discord if you would like to join that, and also some, um, I already mentioned the playlist, uh, the book I published a few years ago on uh, Kindle, if you, Kindle and also paperback through Amazon if you would like to spend a few pennies. Uh, if not, that is absolutely fine. Uh, the uh, book just gives you something that, uh, or something in return if you would like to spend any money so far. Haven't earned any money through any of this uh, yet, but uh, everyone has slow progress to begin with, unless they're doing something completely bonkers that gets everyone's attention really quickly. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to raid a good friend of mine, Maticus Finch. He's literally gone live just recently. Um, I might have the notification. Uh, actually, yeah, it's just popped up on my phone there. He's just gone live. So um, yeah, can literally raid him as his channel is start or channel as his stream is starting up. So so um, yeah, thank you for dropping by. Uh, the VOD for this will be up uh, around about midday um, GMT on Sunday, as long as I get everything sorted out for that. Um, and I will be back online uh, Friday next week um, at 7 p.m. to carry on from where we are leaving off here. So um, I think that's everything I need to mention. Um, yeah, I think I've covered it all. <laughs> I, I, I keep saying I should write a script and I never get around to doing it, but <laughs> uh, just winging it at the moment. But uh, yeah, thank you for dropping by. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope I might see you again uh, maybe next week or in a future stream if you are available. Otherwise, have a good weekend, have a good week and um, well, what else can I say? <laughs> yeah, uh, look after yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Bye.